the lures I'm reviewing in this video are not a not lures that have a lot of flash and style to them. They're more your hard working lures. I'd say uh, they'd be like fishing supplies that outwork a mule. Actually, that's their motto: fishing supplies that outwork a mule. And I'm talking about mule fishing. And I probably had it in the title already, but uh, we're gonna do a little review on Mule Fishing Supply Company. Uh, kind of what do they have? and what are they good for what do they have to offer stuff like that so first off i've used mule fishing supply company a few times and i got several different lures and i think there's some great lures um, where they don't have a lot of options they make up for it in very fine uh tuning like exactly what you need for multi-species fishing these are great multi-species fishing lures for a few different reasons for the lures and for the jig so let's go over them kind of show what they have I fish with the owner of Mule Fishing Supply, Ethan, from his channel now channel called Fish Anything, and he's definitely a multi-species um, kind of expert, and just like his desires to catch fish and just have fun, go out, catch fish in a little bit of time. If all you have is a little bit of time, you can go out and make the most of it and catch some fish. Where some of these lures could be used for bass, obviously um, little, a bass will bite any lure, but these lures are downsized and made to be durable and to be able to hook a lot of fish. So let's start with the lures and just go over a few of them. Like I said, I think there's only five that there are and my favorite one right here is the horsefly. Just a very good little little um, lure, 1.3 inches. So you're gonna notice a lot of these lures are very small, 1.3 inch. Let's take a look at this one right here. This one is in purple, but look how small this little lure is. Got some little uh, tails on it. It's actually pretty, it's small, but it's pretty detailed. I like how it's round. It's got some little arms, got flanges, got ribs. Um, easy enough that you can imagine about anything eating that from a little bluegill to bass to crappie, warmouth, green sunfish. So this is, this is probably one of the, the mo main things that I like about these. And, and it says stretchy and durable, lifelike action, great for multi-species. And they are, so check this out here. So look how strong these lures are. I, I, oh, I'm, I'm going to pull that little bitty tail. That's a little bitty tail on that thing, and it's not breaking off. Um, so you can imagine you're going to be able to go through a lot of fish on one lure. Now, there's a, obviously everybody knows about some lures that are made out of more dense stretchy material, and you know the advantage of that. There's some lure, sometimes people like those, some people don't. It it kind of has a, a you know you got the little niche for this, little niche for this, and there's and there's reasons to maybe have one, have not, but if you're gonna use a little lure that you're gonna try to catch a lot of little fish, I really like lures that are stretchy um, and strong because little fish will peck and peck and peck. Sometimes they're grabbing the tail and pecking at it and pecking at it. Instead of just going through a ton of lures that are falling apart, um, you're gonna be able to you know, just wait, <laughs> let, let that fish bite and bite and finally get hooked. So. I'll, I'll go over the hooks that they have for this because he has his own hooks for them and I think they're great. So first off, there's a little horsefly. Um, this right here is a Donkey Tail Junior, 1.6 inches. And all these are in a few different colors. There's some bright colors, there's some darker colors. This one uh, I pulled out of a packet that's just jet black. And uh, what did I say, 1.6 inches. So yeah, just uh, pretty close to the other thing, but got a little paddle tail on the end. Look how limp that is, just very flexible, Little some little ribs. It's got a little, a big head right here, or a nice little head to, um, you know, put a jig head in there. You know, once again, you're gonna be able to just withstand a lot of bites, fish after fish, um, and it's gonna hold up, but it's also still real flexible to, to look good in there. Here's a uh, big, big the um, big donkey tail junior. Well, actually, well, I guess it wouldn't be the junior, it's the donkey tail. Let's see here, just called the donkey tail one and it is 2.8 inches and it's made the same way still real strong just a, just a bigger profile and um you know and that's more probably a bad something but i mean still for multi-species there, there's a lot of different fish that can eat that um most of the time when we're talking multi-species we're talking small fish you know a lot of different small fish and speaking of small check these out um these are pretty cool these are just called the uh, mule minnow 1.2 inches now that is a small profile still got the stretchiness in there they also make the minnow in 2.2 inches so if you want something a little bit bigger so this is a, a 2.2 inch uh, minnow but you can see how slim it is where it i mean a lot of different fish can get that in their mouth that's not it's not gonna be hard to be uh 
you know, think of a lot of different species that can that can hit that. And it's uh, flat and a little thinner on um, one way than the other. Now, I love the lures, and I think they're awesome. They catch a lot of fish. Um, they do their job. They're basic. Boom, you got this, this, and this. One of those are probably going to work, especially if you're ultralight fishing. Say you're ultralight. So what I think, what I like most about the Mule Fishing Supply Company is their jig heads. And I've been able to look over a lot of them. And they make the jig heads that you want to. I know a lot of you guys out there are like ultralight fanatics and you really want to downsize. And that's like these these tiny little lures, You, I mean, you don't want to throw these on a just a real heavy jig head unless you're trying to fish, you know, really deep. Most of the time, you want something really, really light because you're throwing it on two pound, four pound line. Well, they have light. You want light? They got light. 180th ounce. How about that one? Now, that's a 180th ounce jig head. And the hooks are a... a think they said 10 you can look on the website but a 10 size hook it's got a little um little bait keeper on there but a 180th ounce 10 size hook that thing is just dropping slow through the water you know imagine which i've done it pairing it up with a 1.2 inch or uh, yeah 1.2 inch minnow little one think of all the fish that i have that you can catch on them and especially if you're like a bluegill fisherman and you know how bluegill can get they can be get very picky that tiny little lure is just enough where they're like, okay, I'll just, you know, I'm taking a nibble and one nibble is all it is. And uh, they will eat it. But let's look at a few other ones. So obviously they go down to 180th, 164th ounce. I love this size. It's a, that's, a, that's a size I like to use a lot. I feel like it's a great size. It's still really light. And the hook uh, looks a little bit bigger. I don't remember what the size is. I'd say it's a, I'd say it's a size eight. It's probably like one size bigger. Still a very small hook. Um, and a lot of times I have this less idea in my mind when I'm when I'm ultralight fishing. I want if I want a small profile, I want a really small hook, not a bad hook, but just just a small hook where that fish you know barely has to open its mouth to get the hook, and not a big old hook like you see I like they see for crappie. You see little kits for panfish crappie kits. It drives me crazy when they have these like size two hooks, or um, I'm like those are like those are big. Like if you're I mean you can catch crappie easy. But if you want to catch bluegill or like other smaller fish, I guess that's just a big hook. So they got two different hooks. So um, the mule jig is um, this one here, and uh, these are 164th ounce, and then that's the 180th. But they make them, he makes it all the way up to 330 seconds. So you can, 164th, 132 ounce is a size I use a lot. Um, 116, 330 seconds. You can get those in the mule jig and the way those are. But also came out with another jig, just a little bit different. And this gives people a different option. Um, this one's called the workhorse jig. And you can see the way it's shaped and um, where it's like, you can see how this is kind of going to probably made for dropping a little deeper, I'd say. Uh, it's got a, you know, a solid hook, but it's still a small hook on there. I think these are size six. If I'm not mistaken, I think they said size six or four. I can't remember. You can look on the web. Like I said, look on the website. I was just on there, um, but I'm trying to record this right now. But still, anyways, like looking at it, even check this out. These are three um, sixteenth ounce. That's a that's a good size jig head. Like you're maybe if you're dropping deep, but that's still a small hook. Uh, ice fishing. Um, dropping deep for like perch and stuff like that. This is probably not stuff that I'm going to use a lot, but I like how they're made, designed this way. St I mean, even most of the time you see something with a 316th ounce jig head, it's going to have like a huge hook on it. You know, these are still a small hook designed for fish, but a deep, like a heavier where you can get it down deeper. I'll leave a link for the website and um, it is something I think you should go ahead and check out. If you're, if you're wanting to look into um, getting some new ultralight lures, or if you're just here to check out what mule fishing is, like I said, not real flashy and fancy, real basic, solid, but he's got it dialed in to like catching multi-species fish, put these on, things that are going to last, things that lures that are durable, hooks that are made well and designed to maximize the time when you're out there trying to catch fish, no matter if you have a little bit of time or a lot of time, you're maximizing that time to where you're boom, you're putting it on, you know it's going to work, you know it's going to hook up the fish and it's going to do the job it's supposed to do.